Here's Clive Tilsley. Anybody who's ever tried to take charge of a football team knows exactly what Inter Milan boss Giovanni Trapattoni was going through on Wednesday. A week earlier, Colin Harvey was going through it too. But Everton's defeat at Sheffield United meant he was going through the trials of football management for the last time. It's a difficult job, I mean, you know, once you've been in it for three years, you, you appreciate what, what the qualities a manager's got to have. I mean, it's, a, it's a totally time-consuming. It's a, a culmination of oh, lots and lots of little things that build into one big, big thing. And it, it's a time-consuming, uh, energy-sapping job. Harvey's face shed years and years in the six days between his dismissal and his return to Everton as Howard Kendall's right-hand man this week. Kendall put a smile on the face of Peter <laughs> Reid too, recommending he now take over from him at Manchester City. In the highly prized world of football management, Kendall has become a highly prized master of the art. At his request, Colin Harvey was even prepared to swallow the sack and come back to work for Everton. Uh, they did what they did for a reason, obviously. I mean, they wanted to, to change things, which rightly so, and they brought the right man in for the job, and he asked me to come and work for him, and I was only put two places to do it, because I know what... Uh, what he is, and uh, I'm quite certain that in a period of time we'll start, well, less than a period of time, we'll start climbing the table, and then, uh, who knows, hopefully very soon there'll be trophies in the cabinet once again. Kendall Harvey is Everton's dream ticket, a return ticket to the trophy years of the mid-80s. Such was the coaching reputation Harvey forged within the partnership, it was automatically assumed that he could pick up when Kendall left for Spain. But management is a different game, with different rules. I think that it's very early in the season to be making decisions, but they haven't... Everton board made it. Now because uh, someone has gone into the managerial seat and maybe results haven't gone for him, um, in this country you're dismissed and you're lost to that club. Now I, I don't believe that's right. Would you like to do it again? Um, who knows? Who knows? I think that's yes, isn't it? There's something burning no, down no, there. I, that... mean, I, I just feel as though I've, I've won things as a player and I would have loved to have won something as a Everton manager as well. Now, Peter Reid wants to take on football management. City have put him in caretaker control for tomorrow's game against Leeds, but he's told them he wants a firm decision next week. He puts a compelling case. I've had it in the back of my mind since I was, uh, well, people have written me off since I was about 30, so I've been thinking about things, what do we do when I finish playing? So I'll, I've, I've, I'm resigned to the fact that one day I will become a manager and one day I'll have to take tough decisions. That ain't a problem. He's type-marked me for 11 months in my office and I think that he knows what the job's about and I think he's had a little bit of an apprenticeship and I hope he does well. well I'm, I'm certain he is managerial, uh, he has a managerial ability and whether or not, and I sincerely hope he does, uh, whether he becomes manager of Manchester City, we'll have to wait and see. I don't like the ring of caretaker manager. I think uh, the chairman knows me and the board of directors and if they fancy me for the job, well, they either give it to me. If they don't, I don't get it. I'm a player. I'm quite happy with that. Well, the whole thing, the, the, the Kendall move was a shock, wasn't it? Was it a shock? <laughs> they would catch us all out, didn't it? Yes, it did. Strange one as well, really. Especially with Colin Harvey back there as well. The pressure's on them because they've got to do what they did before. Howard certainly has, and I'm not so sure that's so easy. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you what's quite funny, you know, ITV's live match programme yeah. goes to print early. So this, this Sunday, City fans will be reading the programme, Howard Kendall's <laughs> column. <laughs> The manager's <laughs> view. The manager's view of Manchester City. City. Yeah. Oh, great. But, but Pe Peter Reid, I think, if he's given the chance, could make a good yes, job. You've got to fancy him as a manager a bit, haven't you? I would, I would love to yeah. see little Peter getting a job.